By 2050, global transportation will be vastly different than today. By 2050, cars will be electric and fully autonomous. Car brands will follow Tesla's lead, releasing new high-tech EV models. New battery technology will enable some of these to have 1,000-mile ranges. Gas stations will disappear and be replaced with at-home charging stations, refueling vehicles in as low as 10 minutes. Meanwhile, self-driving technology will become widespread, allowing people to lay back and relax while their cars drive themselves. Autonomous semi-trucks will travel cross-country, delivering shipments with no human interaction. On a smaller scale, autonomous delivery vans and robots will do the same for packages and food orders. Lastly, in the air, swarms of delivery drones will drop off packages from floating warehouses. By 2050, the global urban population is projected to increase by over 2 billion people. To accommodate this, Elon Musk says roads must go 3D, which means either flying cars or tunnels. He believes the answer is tunnels. Currently, Elon Musk's boring company is digging small experimental tunnels under cities. If Musk can significantly cut down boring costs, by 2050, cities will have thousands of tunnels underneath them, shuttling cars and passengers around on electric sleds. However, other companies such as Uber and Airbus are betting on the skies. They are developing eVTOLs, or electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The urban market for them is massive, and studies show they could become highly profitable. By 2050, cities will likely be filled with air taxis, quickly transporting passengers through the skies. On the ground, roads will be transformed. Self-driving electric robo-taxis and buses will shuttle people around cities. Trams and underground subways will efficiently move citizens around by the masses. Above the streets, there will be gyroscopic buses, hovering and passing right over street traffic. Lastly, on the sidewalks, there will be digitally rentable electric scooters and bikes for pedestrians. By 2050, high-speed railways will be everywhere. Dozens of new rail mega-projects, such as the California High-Speed Rail and Rail Baltica, will quickly transport commuters around the world. Some trains utilizing maglev technology will accelerate up to 400 miles per hour, competing with commercial jets in terms of speed. Other trains will adopt hydrogen as a fuel source or go electric. While high-speed rail expands globally, an even more advanced technology will emerge. Hyperloop. Hyperloop, aka vacuum-sealed maglev trains, will revolutionize long-distance ground transportation. Reaching speeds up to 760 miles per hour, Hyperloop systems will vastly outpace traditional airliners. Numerous companies, including Transpod and Virgin and Hart Hyperloop, are racing to get the technology mainstream. Virgin Hyperloop already has a 500-meter working test track in the Nevada desert that has had its first human passengers. By 2050, Hyperloop systems may be everywhere. Los Angeles to San Diego would be only a 12 and a half minute Hyperloop ride, compared to the current three hour car ride. By 2050, supersonic jets will be back. Currently, Boom Supersonic, Virgin Galactic, and a list of other companies are planning to get them back in service by 2030. Soaring between 1,000 and 2,300 miles per hour, these aircraft will be up to four times as fast as typical airliners. Still though, planes will go faster. Right now, the startup Hermius is developing a Mach 5 hypersonic passenger aircraft that it hopes to have finished by 2029. With it, New York to Paris would be only a 90-minute flight. By 2050, we will have Concorde-like but safer super and hypersonic aircraft. Still though, these will be small scale. To help fight climate change, large-scale airliners will have to go green. To solve this, electric airplanes will emerge. Currently, the British airline EasyJet is developing a fleet of electric airplanes that it hopes to have in service by 2030. With ultra-low fuel costs and improved batteries, by 2050, electric airplanes will likely dominate short-distance domestic flights. However, they will be relatively slow and have short ranges. For longer-range trans- and intercontinental flights, hydrogen-powered airplanes will become dominant. Airbus is helping fulfill this vision. It is developing three concepts of hydrogen-powered commercial aircraft, which it hopes to have flying by 2035. Utilizing green hydrogen combustion, these airplanes will fly just as fast as current turbofan aircraft. 
By 2050, they could completely replace fossil fuel-powered airplanes. While planes go green, they will change shape. Currently, the Dutch airline KLM is developing the Flying V, an airplane where the fuselage is the wing. This design will increase space inside, while hopefully cutting fuel consumption by 20%. KLM hopes to get the planes in service by the late 2030s. By 2050, they may be everywhere. Lastly, airships will return. With plenty of space, 80-90% to 90 fewer emissions than airplanes, amazing views, and the ability to land almost anywhere, airships are making a comeback. By 2050, they may be commonplace, transporting cargo to remote locations and serving as luxurious sky yachts for the wealthy. By 2050, boats will be electric. Right now, startups like Ark and Axshore are developing all-electric small-scale boats, while companies like Silent Yachts and Navier are building solar-powered electric yachts. By 2050, electric boats will be mainstream, gliding silently across lakes and seas. Meanwhile, large-scale ships will go green. Hydrogen fuel cells and batteries will begin to power cruise ships and military vessels. And eventually, they will power container ships. In Norway, there is already a fully autonomous electric container ship called the Yara Birkeland. And now, the EU Project Flagships is working to get the world's first hydrogen-powered container ship in the water. By 2050, hydrogen and electric-powered autonomous container ships will dominate the shipping industry, gliding quietly across our oceans with zero emissions. By 2050, rockets will transport people around the world. SpaceX wants to use its new Starship for hyper-fast Earth-to-Earth flights, accelerating people up to 17,000 miles per hour. With the Starship, New York City to Shanghai will be only a 39-minute journey. By 2050, rockets will also transport people between planets. Starships will shuttle space tourists to the moon and transport colonists to Mars. Meanwhile, a space elevator will be developed. By 2050, the Japanese Obayashi Corporation plans to have a space elevator, built using carbon nanotube technology. Lastly, an electric space catapult may be built. Currently, the American startup Spin Launch is working to create a vacuum-sealed centrifuge that will accelerate payloads up to 5,000 miles per hour, before sending them screaming into the atmosphere and into orbit. Another similar idea, called the Star Tram, calls for an electromagnetic railgun that will hurdle payloads into orbit. By 2050, a Star Tram or Spin Launch system will likely be launching payloads into orbit around the world, at a fraction of the cost of current rockets and without any of the emissions. What do you think? Are you excited about the future of transportation? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe for more videos very similar to this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.